Hey, what's up, dude? Doc Testosterone here, part two of the brain of a troll. Now, there were three things that I missed in part one. If you haven't seen part one yet, Axel put the link right fucking here. Uh, the brain of a troll, part one. Now, in this video, three questions. The first is, how does trolling relate to testosterone? The second question is, is trolling an addiction? Just like porn and weed and alcohol and all that shit. Third is, can trolling spread like a virus if you undergo what I call secondhand trolling? So you've heard of secondhand smoking, someone smoking you're around, that's secondhand smoking, and it is even more dangerous than smoking itself. This aspect is secondhand trolling. So if you read a troll's comment on YouTube or if you just are around a troll and you hear something, again, all of this is explained in that first video, access it here. So these are the three questions that I'm gonna answer. Let's start with the aspect of testosterone in all of this. If you troll someone, or if you hear a troll, or you're associated with a troll somehow, then you will get a decrease in testosterone because the aspect of trolling that is the most destructive to our hormones is the release of cortisol. Now you know that cortisol is a hormone that is released by the adrenal glands in our body and that release is associated with a stress response. Now that decreases testosterone. That also reduces muscle mass in your body. So don't troll if you care about your testosterone. Now if you've been trolling your whole life or you just have low T because you've been around negative energy assholes, then get my free ebook, How to Increase Your Testosterone Today and the Five Factors Killing Your Testosterone. I just gave you the sixth one here in this video. Access that ebook, actually do it right here. Axel put the link here, the five factors killing your testosterone and how to fix them today. Now the second question is, is trolling an addiction? Fuck yes. Now, try to understand what trolling is. What is the source of any negative energy? One, it is your personal insecurities. And two, it is a sense of the desire or the need of connection. I've worked with plenty of addicts at rehab centers and other drug centers which have these people around they have a lack of connection to society. So if you are an internet troll, you're on YouTube commenting, spreading negative messages to people, you have a lack of that social contact. And because of that lack of social contact and social energy and love and caring, you lack that spike in dopamine in your brain that you need. You don't have the bonding that the rest of us have. I didn't have it always either. I had to develop that by working really hard to get that sense of love in me so I can love myself too. Now, if you are around that kind of negative energy, then you will become addicted to trolling. Because you want that dopamine spike, you want to cause that influence. Think about it practically. You troll and you put a comment on YouTube, someone else is gonna get pissed, either attack you, call you a fucktard, or do something negative to you, that causes a dopamine spike in your brain, which is very close to what you would get if you cared for someone, if you loved someone, if you did a sprint, if you had sex, if you ate something delicious, like a cake or ice cream. Those reward signals that you need as a human being to survive, you get that through trolling. So I urge you, if you are one of those, stop it. Just let your body get what it wants without giving out that negative energy to the world. Okay, so that is the answer to is trolling an addiction? Hell yeah, it is. And it is just like any other addiction. It triggers the reward circuitry in your brain causing the dopamine spike and then at the end makes you addicted to trolling because you can't live without it, okay? So to overcome it is just like any other rehab. You have to 
take good habits in your control, such as, just like I did in part one, sprinting or lifting heavy weight, just working your ass off at the gym or working really hard at life, becoming successful in anything that you wanna do in life, whatever your strengths are, or to improve on your fucking weaknesses. Now, third one, secondhand trolling. Of course it exists. If you are watching a video of a troll, okay, now I've made videos attacking people on YouTube as well. I was trolling and, you know, I thought I was doing it for a positive outcome because I really care about the reality of health, how science is related to health and I prove that through scientific studies and my 13 years of experience as a fucking scientist. Now. If you are around secondhand trolling, if you read those YouTube comments, if you watch those YouTube videos of trolls, it is even more harmful than you actually trolling. So get rid of that negative energy from your life, cut out those fuckers from your life, and you will be very happy, you will be able to boost your testosterone, maintain your testosterone, and not be addicted to shit like that. And again, if you're a troll, I love you, man. Uh, if I've said something in the past to troll you, I'm sorry, I apologize. I want things to be positive. I want to spread positive energy and empower everyone. Let's grow together in the Doc Testosterone Tribe. And this, oh, my Snapchat icon's coming up soon. And remember, Doc, in 60 seconds, go to my Instagram. I make one minute quick videos answering questions. I call it Doc in 60 seconds. Go to my Instagram, you'll see it here. Follow me there and watch those videos every day on my Doc Testosterone Instagram. My Snapchat is coming up next. Follow me there, send me snaps, that is how I answer questions. And if you want me to answer a question of yours on my Doc in 60 Seconds episodes, comment on Instagram. This is Doc Testosterone, and how about them testosterone gains? See you next time.